Hey, what's up YouTube? So today we are doing something different. Um, this is going to be the Would You Rather series. Um, this is where I'm going to be answering questions that are difficult. Now some of them are funny, some of them are dirty, some of them are morally fucked. But um, <clears throat> we're going to go for this. So, first question. Would you rather lose your sex organs forever or gain 200 pounds for the rest of your life? Uh, now, wait, wait, wait now. Now, this is where it gets kind of weird because they said gain 200 pounds for the rest of my life. Does that mean that I will gain, an, like, 200 pounds and I will just be stuck at 200 pounds for the rest of my life? Because, um... If that's the case, I mean, shit, that, 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 that's totally, oof. No sex organs are 200 pounds for the rest of my life, meaning I can never lose weight. Fuck it, hold on now. I'm going to keep the 200 pounds because I, the way I see it is, shit, big bitches get love. But if you ain't got no no organs, then you, hell no, you, you shit out of luck. All right, question number two. Would you rather have sex with your cousin? Oh, God damn. They did not ease me into this at all. Would you rather have sex with your cousin in secret or not have sex with your cousin, but everyone would think you did? Oh, my God. I don't even know my cousins. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> but everyone thought I did? See, that would revolve around me actually caring what they think. See, I could just move to a whole different fucking place that they ain't gonna know where I'm at. And they'll just know me as a cousin fucker. But fuck them because they don't know me, right? So, yeah. Like, I would just... I would not have sex with my cousin. And everybody could think what the fuck they want to think. No Kevin Gates, you know? So, fuck that. Numero three. Would you rather get explosive... <laughs> Would you rather get explosive diarrhea every time you meet your boss or every time you meet your, oh, your, your, like, significant other's parents? Oh, my God. Oh, my. You know what? This could work to my benefit. So, I rarely see my boss. Like, my boss boss, like, not my supervisor, but my boss, I rarely see my boss. So, I'd rather be my boss than, like... Oh, no, I can't, I can't do nothing. Mm -mm. Yeah, so I'd say I'd rather have explosive diarrhea with my boss rather than my significant other. Number four, would you rather have a head the size of a tennis ball or the size of a watermelon? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Let me think. Okay, so let's just think logically, people, like, if I got the head the size of a tennis ball, and maybe I'm thinking outside the box here on this, but niggas is going to instantly not want to talk to me because they're going to be like, they never going to get head ever a day in their life because my head is a fucking tennis ball, right? So, logically, if I got the head of a water, like the head the size of a watermelon, I could sell that shit and be like, look, I got that good. I got that watermelon head. You know, they're gonna be like, yeah, you really do got a watermelon head. Like, I know. Like, I don't know. I feel like I could sell it. I feel like I could, I could, I could deal with the watermelon sized head. Cause you wait a minute now. There is watermelons of different kinds. So another question that we can avoid easily. Cool. Number five. Would you rather have the best house in a shitty neighborhood? <laughs> Or the worst house in a fancy neighborhood. Uh, you know what? Worst house in a fancy neighborhood because the best house in the shitty neighborhood could be, oh, you know, damn, your roaches, they don't fly. Oh shit, you got a good ass house. Or you know, in a in a shitty house in the uh, best house in the worst neighborhood could be like, you know, damn, your your rats don't look like tails from Sonic. They're like, no, what the fuck kind of rats you got? Oh, my rats fly. What the fuck kind of rats you got? My rats eat through my shit. They be like, oh, my rats live in my shit. Like, I don't know. I feel like shitty is shitty no matter what, right? If you have the best house in a shitty neighborhood, who the fuck built that house differently than the ones that's down the block? So you just got a, a slightly better circumstance, maybe. 
So I'm guessing I'm going to go for the shitty house in a good neighborhood because hell, they scraps might be like, oh my God, you don't have a dishwasher? Oh my God. Like, how do you function? So I, I'm, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take worst house in a fancy neighborhood. Would you rather have no, no penis or five penises? Um, well, seeing as I don't have neither, I guess this is a free question. So, five, five. There is going to be some freaky ass white chick named Belladonna, Crystal, or like Caitlyn out there that's going to fuck with somebody got five dicks. I can imagine it now. Like, I can imagine it. It'll be something like, um, oh my God, Crystal, I just met the best guy yesterday. He has five cocks. Cause you know, they don't have dicks. Like, you know, they don't, white people don't use the terminology of dicks that I've heard. Like it is cocks. So, you know, you'd be like, oh my God, Caitlin. Oh my God. He has five, I'd be like Ugh, girl, five cocks. Like, that's like one for every day of the week. And then, you know, Caitlin's like, eh. Chris was like, um, I think there's seven days. I'm like, no, there's five. I, I, I count it on a calendar. It's five days. The other two are extra. They're freebies. Those are the days that's meant for God. <laughs> nah, but for real, I, I, I'm going to have to go with the five because I just, I really have a thing about not having any, like no sexual organs is not going to work out for me. Number seven, would you rather die saving 10,000 strangers from death knowing no one would ever know it was you or live knowing everyone or live knowing everyone would know you decided not to save 10,000 people's lives? Oh, die saving 10,000 strangers, but nobody would know or live. But everybody knows that you didn't save the 10,000 people's lives. Um, I'm not going to die for clout. Like, okay, technically, this is why I say die for clout. I feel like if I die saving 10,000 strangers and nobody knew it, I would be a little bit like, damn, you know, I can understand if you believe in something higher then you're like, well, he gonna know, so that mean I get to come in, right? No. What if I was a dick my whole life and I just happened to save 10,000 people and then still get put in hell? I'm gonna be mad as fuck. So I would rather, I don't, see, this is, mm mm. Y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be ripping on me. Uh, 10,000? What the fuck kind of scenario is this? Like, what could be happening that I could save 10,000 people? Like, Hmm. Nah, for real, like I, I don't know. I'm, I might have to take saving the ten thousand because, yeah, I might have to take saving the ten thousand because I do not want to be known as that person that could have stopped a mini apocalypse and everybody be like, "You pussy!" I'm like, come on, that's not fair. It was 10 gallons of coffee. Like, I thought everybody would live. I don't know. I just feel like I, I, I'm going to have to take the first one. Number eight, would you rather peel all your nails out of your fingers or pull all the teeth out of your mouth? Oh, my gosh. Um. Oh, my God. I don't feel like that would feel any better. I'm looking at my nails right now, and I'm like, oh, uh damn okay i'm gonna have oof, that's hard i'm gonna have to go i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to go with the nails because i just like i got a toothache right now and i don't want nobody touching that shit that shit mm -mm. wait a minute now hold on let hold on now because if i take all them teeth out do you know what blowjobs will be like from this point I would be a legend though. Fuck. I would be a legend. Hold on. Let me. Hmm. Nails for the scratching of the back or teeth out for his betterment. This is hard. This is hard. Uh. 
Cause I'm just envisioning, you know, like people walking up to, to the to like the boyfriend and be like, oh, you know, damn, your bitch ain't got no teeth, and he's like, that is a legend. You not talk about her like that. That's a goddamn legend. Like, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna keep, we're gonna give up our nails. Fuck them nails. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, no, we're gonna keep our nails. We're gonna give up our teeth. We got to, right? Okay, well, we got to. Number nine, would you rather freeze to death or burn to death? Ooh. Ooh. I would have to go with freeze to death because I feel like... I feel like after a while, I wouldn't feel it. I would be numb. But burning? Hoo hoo. I'm straight on that. I'm straight. Number 10, would you rather have no arms or no legs? This is another one of those questions. I'm thinking no legs because at least during sex, I don't have to like pull my legs up by my head. I'm just ready. Wait, but, and then if somebody try to take advantage, I got arms, I'll punch shit out of them. <laughs> I don't know, but then I feel like they're going to throw my little disabled ass. They're going to toss my ass somewhere. So I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to go with no legs though. I'm thinking no legs is good. Number 12, would you rather crap your pants in public once a year for the rest of your life or crap yourself in a private every day for the rest of your life? Okay, I'm going to take the in public once a year for the rest of my life because people ain't going to remember me. Like, nigga, I'm going to be thinking smart as fuck. Baby going to have that diaper on every fucking day of the year until I crap my pants. Once I crap my pants that one time, then baby going to take that diaper off. I'm straight. Now, what would suck is if I crap my pants like on the 31st of December. And then at the 1st of January, <laughs> they're like, oh, we're going to take our year right now. So I guess that would suck. Number 13, would you rather be a virgin forever or have sex with your brother or sister one time? Why would they say that? Why would they do that to me? Wait a minute, virgin. Hold up. We got to, we, see, I'm, I'm the loophole finder. I'm telling you, I'm the loophole finder. Now, let, let's just say... Virginity is essential to the frontal body organ. That has nothing to do with the rear region. So technically, we straight. Yeah, yeah, okay, bet. I'll be a virgin of one hole forever. That's what's up. Now, on to the next question. Uh, where were we? Oh... Uh, Okay, so, so far, <clears throat> we got out of having to sleep with cousins. We got out of having to sleep with brothers. And I'm officially, like, the loophole queen. So, let's see. Um, we are at number 14. Would you rather have knives for fingers or penises for fingers? <laughs> okay, knives for fingers or penises for fingers? Oh, that's ooh, that's a tight loophole. Hold on. I don't think I got a loophole for this, y'all, because I'm I'm looking at it like again, if you were doing some sort of sexual act, if you keep the penis for fingers, he got to be somewhat gay, right? Like, he has to be, like, you know, like, okay with, like, five other cocks touching his at one time. Oh, my goodness. Um. Oh. But if you have knives, then he's officially not going to let you touch anything below at all. But then I, I'm like, hell, it's the same, right? Uh, mm. uh, and then I was thinking, on another hand, this could get me jail time. Like, okay, what if 
you have like one of those dramatic moments where you mad at your your man and you're like you know what fuck you and you smack him and you smack him with like five dicks like that's not gonna be cool he's never gonna recover from that he's gonna be like I hate you never talk to me again and I hope everything and nothing good happens to you and everything bad happens to you and then I was thinking but look at that jail charge if you like if your kid is acting like that little bitch from off the orphan and you smack that kid if you if you the minute the minute that you touch that kid with those dick fingers you're literally going to be on fbi's number one most pedophilic list or some shit like they are going to be on your ass they're like did you just slap a child with five dicks you finna be under the jail my guy under so then we look at this from a whole different standpoint if we had the knives for fingers you know like <sighs> I'm trying to think like okay what if you have an argument with your man and I feel like I would turn into a bully like I know I would I would be like oh you gonna do them fucking dishes today and he gonna be like you know what I'm sick of this shit I'm sick of wearing this dress that you keep trying to get me to wear I'm sick of walking these goddamn heels I'm sick of being the bitch I'm like you're gonna be the bitch I'm gonna smack him and then next thing you know, all his face is going to fall off because I just sliced his shit off, right? But if you argue with your kid, you like, you know what I mean? Like, I told you to get in the fucking closet and you smack him. Then, damn, you know, again, that's jail time. So, ugh. But would I rather... Oh, my God. This is hard. This is hard. Uh, is there any way out of this? If I get knives for fingers, could I then... Fuck. I can't get surgery with that oh you know what maybe i'll have the knives for fingers and i'll get a job like cutting carrots and shit right like is that not a thing is that a thing like i can get a job as like a human slicer or some shit i'm sure then i'll meet some guy that'll have some fetish with knives and i'll just slice on his ass for the rest of my life i guess i don't know i, I think i'll have an easier time being happy with knives than a bowl of dicks <laughs> like yeah so we're gonna we're gonna go with the knives we're gonna go with the knives we stuck on this question too too long number 15 would you rather live forever or die in the next five minutes by the time i finish answering this question my guy like i'll already be dead live forever live forever will i age this is important I don't want to, you know, be like on the fucking green mile where my ass is finna live forever, but I'm finna age and, you know, only thing I'm gonna be able to get in the next 40 years is gonna be gray, shriveled, and shaky. I don't want that. Like, now, if I can be young forever, I'm gonna just get wiser and wiser. And I still be able to have the you, you, the youth and the young looks to, you know. But then I just thought about it. Like, I think I'll eventually get to the point where I'm like Debbie Downer. So, niggas would be like, you know, I really do love you, you know. And I'd be like, no, you don't love me. You're just here because it's convenient for you. And you don't have the balls to go and get to know someone new. And put your heart out on the line. And once your heart gets broken, then you'll feel you can come back to me. In which I probably will let you back because I have nothing else to do. Because I'm going to be alive for the next fucking eternity. I feel like I would be that, that girl. And I don't want to be that girl. But if I get old, then my conversations. Oh, my God. Phone sex would be like, oh, yeah? Oh, is that chocolate pudding? He'll be like, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I hate lemon pudding. Ah, like I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's what the next conversation is gonna be like. You know, that's gonna be kinky for us. So while young, young ones are talking about like, stick your finger in my ass, I'm gonna be like, oh, like, hmm. I like those khaki pants you're wearing today, David. <laughs> no, no, I gotta find an old name. What's an old name? Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking on it. I'm thinking on it. All right. Um, would you rather be married to Paris Hilton or Charlie Shane with the HIV coming in heavy? Um, I don't think I, I, I don't think this is a good question. 
Paris Hilton, the size, what, what does she wear? Size 12, size 13 in shoe? Uh, the Bigfoot Goddess, as they used to call her, or at least I did. Um, ooh, but you said married? Nigga, is this, is this real? Because that bitch got money. So, I don't mind being married to money. Don't get me wrong. Married to money, married to money. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go with Paris Hilton here. That bitch got flow. Hell yeah, married to her daddy's money. I'm straight. Whereas Charlie Sheen, like that nigga, is washed up and he's got HIV and he's cool and all. And don't get me wrong, his whole fucking family is in the business, but uh, I'm good on that crazy shit. I feel like. I'm gonna catch a bitch in his closet and under his bed and mm -mm. I'm not, if I'm gonna fuck with Charlie Sheen, I'm gonna have to wait until that nigga get like I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna have to wait until he gets a good like 90. 90 is when he will settle down. That nigga party's like a rock star. Don't y'all remember that shit? I'm on this drug call. Something something drum machine. It's not available. If you try it once, you will nod. Your face will melt off. You don't remember that shit from Spot? Uh, uh, what is it? Shmoyo ho, Sh Shmoyo something. When they were songifying shit. Oh, anyway, anyway, giving up my age here. Um, ooh, number seventeen. Would you rather give or receive a lap dance? Is this a real question? A lap dance? I'd rather give one. I don't. What? Okay. I. How was that hard? Number eighteen. Would you rather have uncontrollable gas at work for the rest of your life, or uncontrollable gas on every first date for the rest of your life? Um. <clears throat> oh God. Oh. Got you. I know what we could do. I'll have uncontrollable gas for every first date. Because if I find the one, then it'll, it'll only be one date. So what I'll do is, I'll stay, I'll take a tampon, stick it up my butt cheeks, and let that shit sit there, right? Like, is that not a thing? Is that not, is that not cool? You can only hear, number 19... You can only hear one song for the rest of your life, Bohemian Rhapsody or A Ring of Fire. Oh, God. So we're looking at... What's that? What's, what's Ring of Fire? It's, uh... What is, uh... I fell into a burn ring of fire Went down, down, down And the flames got higher And it burned, burns, burn The ring of fire The ring of fire The taste of love is sweet When hearts like eyes meet I feel for you like a child. Oh, with a fire away well. I fell into a burning fire. Went down, 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 and the flames got higher. And it burn, burns, burns. Okay, so that's the Adam, Adam something. Adam something version of that song and for bohemian rhapsody is this the real life is this just fantasy caught in a landslide no escape from reality open our eyes look up to the skies and see yeah, yeah, okay, okay, uh, ooh, I'm gonna have to go with Ring of Fire, ooh, but ooh, my inner 90s is kicking my ass, it's like, did you really just say that? Oh my god, um, you know what, Bohemian Rhapsody, I, 
I gotta do it to the Freddy. I gotta do it to the Freddy. I, I'm, I was a huge ass fan of them, so I'm gonna I'm do that. Number 20, would you rather be filthy rich but have to be Justin Bieber's assistant or dirty poor but get to be anyone's assistant you choose? I'm gonna have to go with dirty poor. Dirt poor. But, um, well, that concludes the first 20 questions. I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, I will be uploading more. I am going to be uploading all kind of content. So hopefully you enjoy. See you guys later.